One of the absolute nicest things about Microsoft's ribbon is that it also works in conjunction with a feature called Live Preview. It's not really a feature that's on the ribbon, but it's kind of part of the ribbon. And I'll show you what I mean right now. Again, if you've used Office in the past, you've probably already encountered this behavior, but I wanted to name it here and make sure you understand what happens when you're using Live Preview. The beauty of it is that it will show you what your change will look like before you actually make the change. So in this example here, I will just double click on a word, which I've done, it's preview. And if I go up to the font grouping in the ribbon, and then I click on this, this font size dropdown, and I start to scroll down this list, you see that the live preview is showing me what the change would look like when I actually make the change. So I haven't made any change yet. All I've done is just hover my mouse over the different options that I have and Live Preview says, here's what 28 point font looks like. Here's how it will affect your document. Here's how it might move the picture around in your document. So these things are very helpful when you are working in a program that is essentially what you see is what you get, what you're designing on your page on the screen is what you should get when you go to make your printed output. So in that way, it's very, very handy. The same thing goes for the styles grouping here. So if I hover over the heading three, or if I hover over title, subtitle, and so on, when I change the style, the live preview will be there helping me out, knowing exactly what heading one is going to look like when I give that heading one a click. So I've just done that here. Now where you won't see the live preview helping you out is if you go to some of these individual commands. If I hover over bold or if I hover over italic or underline, you notice that the live preview does not help me out. Generally speaking, if you are hovering over like a style gallery like this, or if I select the picture and I use one of the drawing tools or picture tools here and I hover over the picture styles, that's where Live Preview once again can help me preview what a change would look like before I make the click, which sends the command and makes the change. So the general rule of thumb is that if it's an individual button here, Live Preview probably won't help you. If it's a drop-down that gives you a gallery of choices, then, as you can see, if I hover over these brightness settings, you are able to see what a change will be before I make the click. And that is the beauty of Live Preview that is part of the Microsoft Office ribbon experience.